I just dropped herself off to crash. Can I join you for a coffee? Yeah, of course you can. Sit down. Right, listen to this. <clears throat> Decent mechanics, but garage is all over the place. Garage looks so unorganised. Not going back again, sorry. There's always one. Well, actually, there's about five. We're now down to three and a half stars. Just naysayers. <sighs> I need to get more involved. I mean, this is my future. I could see you in overalls and a pair of ducks. Golden boy will get Mammy's millions. Junior will be looked after. This garage is my nest egg. How are things with you and Dolores? Why, what you been saying about me? What? She doesn't talk behind your back. Yeah, well, I bet you'd love to. You got your 51%. She always takes his side, though. Yeah, and when Junior ever has a problem, you'll be on his. Uh, no, sorry, Sash, I will be fair. Especially if he's married and in his 40s. No, nothing else? Uh, yeah, I'll have a latte. Right. Oh, and can I get um, some pastries to go? Four different types. Hungry this morning, aren't you? For Ray and Doug, actually. All oh, right. And what you doing now? Nothing. It's been nice. Of course you are. <sighs> I need to keep them on side. Expecting trouble, are you? The new me looks after her staff and her investment. Juliet? Hi. How are things? Terrific. You look great. Thanks. Well, I haven't seen you in a while. I guess I've been so busy. Well, how's the apartment? I love having my own space. For work, I mean. You doing your own dishes and laundry? I have a cleaner. Really? No. Your face. The place is really quiet without you. I even miss the bathroom being a tornado zone every morning. You're not complaining, are you? No. No, Mel's still away, so it's just me and Alex. But he has his head buried into a book all the time. Work's been so full on for me for the last couple of weeks. Have you much on today? Not a lot. Why? Oh, can I take you to lunch? And James. Really? Sure. Even after everything you said about him? Well, if he's in your life, then he's welcome. He's not my boyfriend. I know. Look, Juliet, any father would have reacted the same. Worse, probably. And no matter what happens between us or what we argue over, I'm still your dad. And I'll always be there for you. Don't go all gushy on me in the shop. Well, we have lunch then. I have a couple of things to do. How about a late meet, uh, 3.30 in the pig? See you there. Oh, and bring James. I mean it. Hey, lads. Fancy a break? I bought you some pastries. Oh, thanks very much, Arlie. Well, it's very decent of you. Well, I appreciate all your hard work. Yeah, I won't sound a desperate and we couldn't fit this in yesterday, so... Okay. Sorry. Okay, okay, watch yourself there. Hey. Right, uh, let's jack her up. Take the hub nut off and then drain her of the transmission fluid. Big job, is it? New clutch. When was the last walk on this car made a right botch of it? Yeah, well, let's just make sure that we do a good job. And what do you think we're going to do? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, you know, we need good reviews. Right, I'll go put the kettle on. Phoebe. Hi. Have you got a minute? For you? No. I, you know your mom, she, she's really upset. She should be. This is all wrong. She's really concerned about you. Concerned because I heard her say she intended to lie under oath? That's a criminal offense. She might have said it, but she'd never do that. You know her. Some people are born liars. Like you. But you won't lay this on my dad. I know this must be awful for you. Don't patronize me. You're a spiteful, horrible person, and you should pay for what you did to him. What has he been saying about me? If he goes to prison, I'll never forgive you. Phoebe, I'm not the one taking the case against him. Hey, don't you speak to her. Are you okay? I can't stand being anywhere near him. Go and sit down. It's okay. I'm leaving. You make me sick. Don't engage with him, love. Sit down. How can you live with what you did?
Why would you use her like this? She's the one person who really loves you. Are you worried that your support might be slipping? But don't speak to my daughter again. What are you doing this afternoon? Why? My dad wants to take us to a late lunch. Us? Yeah, he wants to treat both of us. Sorry, I don't do family lunches. It's just Mondo. Mm, count me out. Come on. This is a big deal for my dad. Well, that's between you and him. Will you do it for me? No. Please. Having lunch with your father is not part of our arrangement. Neither is you, standing in my bedroom. You're being childish. I really don't like it when you say that to me. Well, then grow up. It's a simple lunch. Look, we have a pretty good deal here. That doesn't include getting involved with your family. Fine. Forget I asked. I thought you liked this apartment. What has that got to do with anything? We keep things as they are. That way everything runs smoothly. Agreed? Enjoy your lunch. Your hands are shaking. It happens sometimes after I see him. It'll pass in a minute. It's not right. It's so two-faced the way he goes around pretending to care. Yeah, well, that's what Chris does. And it works. You're letting him crush you, Dad. I'm not. You said you were going to fight back. Why aren't you doing more? Well, I'm trying. You've got to get on this, or else you'll end up in prison for something you didn't do. Well, I did hit him. <sighs> I can't deny that. In self-defense. It's all the other things he said. I never imprisoned him. I never broke his phone. None of it. That's why you've got to tell your side of things. Hmm. Well, the medical report is going to go against me, and no one else believes what really happened. So. What time are you meeting, Sheila? Um, half two. Right. We're going to write everything up. Every single thing he did to you. And you can read it out in court. Well, I wish I could, but I'm not taking the stand. When Sheila reads this, she'll change her mind. She won't. Why are you being so passive? But I'm not. I just feel like Chris is backing me into a corner. Sheila takes instructions from you, not the other way around. It won't make any difference. Stop letting Cristiano intimidate you. Please, Dad. Hiya, lads. Oh, yeah. I'll give you one a ring and I'll let her know our car's ready. Oh, no, look, I'll do it. I'm going to be here for a while. I'm reorganising the office. Why? My brain, Ray. I need to know where everything is. So, I'll see we're booked out next week. Yeah, it's been mad busy. That is great. I was thinking that we could come up with you know, a more improved labelling system. How's that? Well, you know, just to keep your tools organised. I could even order you another trolley drawer if you like. Yeah, you're fine. You know, we have a system. Yeah, yeah, it's fantastic. Um, I was also thinking that when the lady comes to collect her car, maybe you could ask her to leave a review. Oh, but we leave that up to the customer. Yeah, I know, but it's better to push these things, you know, because it's important and people need reminding. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, we will do. And, uh, Thanks for the uh, pastries. You are welcome. Uh, Doug, would you just mind giving the car a quick polish before the lady collects it? Sure, yeah. OK, thank you. Why is she smiling all the time? Keep your tools organised. What way is that to talk to a mechanic and he walking on the car? And now we have to worry about social media. Yeah, well, we probably should ask for reviews. No, oh, we always forget. Just say yes, ma'am, and no, ma'am. You know. Better think she's in charge. She is in charge. No, Wayne is still my boss. Yeah, and Orla's an even bigger boss than Wayne now. Yeah, and what does she know about fixing cars? To be fair, the inside of an engine was a mystery to Wayne too, but he could flog them, all right? The garage is in Wayne's DNA. But Orla's been around the garage for years, man. And Malloy is the name over the door. And she's still the big boss. One of them. And she's a lot to learn. Ah, good. Now, I think I should take you through the trial process so you're familiar with the order of things. Yeah, um, look, before we do that, I'd like you to read this. What is it? I've changed my mind about going on the stand. Well, we talked about this. Yes, I know, but look, I've made a detailed list of everything that Cristiano did to me before I lashed out. It's all in there, and I want the jury to hear it. You can't take the stand. Will you at least read it? I know it all already. Clodagh won't have it, and I agree. <laughs> 
This is more detail. It gets everything that I can remember. It doesn't matter. You look desperate and you'll lose sympathy. Yeah, well, I have my daughter to think of. I'm not going to let her down again. I'm doing this for her. You're panicking and you're wasting my time. Well, I'm paying for it, am I? <sighs> look, you said to fight dirty. This will trip you up. You'll be exposed. But what about all of the injuries that Cristiano inflicted? It's your word against his. He hit me over the head with a pot. You said nothing when it happened. He admitted to the guards that he was abusing he me. He tried to retract it. Well, he lied. <gasps> We're covering old ground. Look, I'm taking the stand. But my daughter wants me to, so that's what's going to happen. I am telling my side of things. In the end, it's your choice. Oh, thank you. I've made my decision. Fine. Take the stand if you like. But if you do, you better find yourself new counsel, because I quit. You're bluffing. I'm afraid I'm not. Well, you can't quit the week before the trial. My job is to keep you out of prison. I have a strong case. If the prosecution gets you on the stand, they'll hang you. Yeah, well, maybe you're underestimating me. I don't doubt your ability to play the victim. I am the victim. Then let Clodagh prove that. But you haven't even read my testimony. It's way more detailed than anything I've told you before. You can't just come up with this now. Why not? We'll use your head. Sarsfield is good, and he's got a lot to run with. Forget it. It's a terrible move. It won't work. So what? I do nothing. Do you have any witnesses who saw your injuries? Well, not at the time. I mean, Chris made sure of that. Afterwards? Yes, I was hobbling around on crutches with a black eye, and I have photographs to prove it. Oh, we can use them, of course. I suggest you find yourself a reliable and convincing witness who can back up your version of events. Or we could argue that Chris has destroyed my good name. We're not out to attack Cristiano. It's not you versus him. We need to cast doubt on his allegations. We need a strong witness. Can you find one? Honestly, uh, unlikely. Well then. You need to prepare yourself and your daughter. But there is a chance to get off. There's a chance. If we can convince the jury to overlook your guilt. But it'll be a tough fight with no guarantees. We will do everything we can. But you really should be mentally prepared. Hey. Hey. I am starving. Oh, we should probably wait for James before we order. He's not coming. Oh, is he working? We haven't seen each other in a while. I decided we should have lunch together without him. Oh, that, that's nice. I'm glad. No, I, I mean, James is very welcome, of course. I know you don't mean that, but thanks for asking him. It's not that I don't like him. Da, I know what I'm doing. Trust me. I do. I'm, I'm glad we're here. Me too. So? It's all going well for you? Yeah. I follow you, and, and so do Ray and Nora. They do not. Uh, Nora loves it. I had to stop her from entering one of your giveaway competitions. You're kidding. Uh, in case she won, and you got accused of nepotism. Anyway, they're both so happy that you're doing well. They don't know everything, right? No, no. Yeah. They wouldn't understand. Well, you'd be surprised. I mean, Nora went wild camping last week. Seriously? Naked dancing under the full moon. Dad. Honestly, the older generation. <laughs> hey. Hey? Slumming it in the pig. What are you doing here? Grabbing a takeaway. Why don't you join us? You don't mind that. And I hardly see him either. I can't. I have an essay due in the morning. You need a break, sit. Do what you're told. And what can I get you? Uh, veggie burger and chips. Cow burger. Extra chips. So. What's the crack? Ma, I'm busy. Do you miss me? 
only because I've suddenly got all your chores to do. Mm, poor Alex. Not that you did much when you were there anyway. Did so? Interesting. Don't tell me. More followers. Sugar ball. A date request. Look, forget about your phone. Come here, did you, uh, did you hear about Nora? Please do not tell me there was photos. Can you believe it? <laughs> oh my God. Cristiano. Hey, Pete. How are you doing? Well, the closer it gets, the harder it is. You don't need to worry about that. He's going down for this. You don't know Will. The man's a snake. He certainly brings out the worst in me. Maybe he's so ashamed of what he did, he can't bear to admit the truth. You've been far too generous. I'd say he believes all the lies himself. At his daughter's expense. It's so cruel. Maybe he's an adult now. She's made her choice. You need to look after yourself. The rest assured, Dolores and I are in your corner. So I'm Raiden Damien. So don't worry. We'll all be there for you. Thank you. You and Dolores have been very kind to me. I really appreciate it. Not at all. No, Dad. Why didn't you insist? She has to let you tell your side of things. It's not right. Where are you? Come over then and we'll talk. Phoebe. Hey. I saw your mom earlier in the shop. Now is not a good time. She's very upset. Well, I'm sure it's fake, so don't worry about it. Phoebe. It was one awful thing, Dolores. Yes, he hurt Chris, but it was once. Have you ever done something you regret? Hurt someone and then you're really sorry. We all do things we regret. We don't lash out like that. It was self-defense. My dad was so badly abused until he snapped. That's what really happened. You don't know that. And you have no idea what went on behind Chris's closed door. What if he's convicted? I don't want him to go to prison. I know. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine, thanks. Please try and talk to your mom. You need her more than you think. Printed out the cards. So, this is what I'm thinking. Do people still leave tips? Maybe a tenner, 20, sometimes if it's a big job. Why? Because I want you to refuse the tips and give them the card. Ask them to give a review and all the details are on the card. And why would we do that? Because I want Malloy Motors to start crawling back up the review sites. I want to be top of the list. Yeah, but what's that got to do with tipping? You say thank you, and if they're happy, which they will be, you say we'd rather they left us a good review. I mean, people really respond to gestures like that. And we lose out. OK, look, can we just do it until we're back up to five stars? I have to go collect Junior, but I promise you, OK, you will not lose out. I will take care of you. Smile and nod. Your words. Uh, hey. We're just finishing up. Your dad will be out in a sec. Thanks. You feeling a bit better? want all this to be over. Of course you do. Here he is now. Hey, Phoebes. Uh, you can go on. I'll, I'll lock up. All right. Thanks. Good night, then. Good night. Hey. What exactly did Sheila say? Look, I told you. And she's probably right. But if the jury hears you... Yeah, but the prosecution will twist everything. It's too risky. What are you going to do now? Uh, I don't know. She's a rubbish solicitor. She did say something. OK. She said if I could get a reliable witness to back me up. Like who? Well, someone of good character. Brona? I can't ask her. She treated Chris in the hospital. Dolores. Well, Dolores is on Chris's side. She'd be perfect. You have to change your mind. She can't deny you're a good nurse. You've never had one complaint from a patient? Yeah, and actually, Dolores did see my injuries, and she could verify that I had to take time off work. 
No, but if she believes Chris, you know, I don't think that she's going to turn. I was upset earlier, and she was sympathetic. We could persuade her. There's hardly any time. Dad, you're fighting for your freedom. If this is your best chance, you have to take it. Look, look if Dolores thought we were trying to sway her, she would run a mile. We're only convincing her of the truth. Yeah, I know. Okay, but we just got to be really clever about it. Right, well, let's go home and work out what we should do. You know, I don't know how I would get you any of this without you. I'll always be here for you. You know that. Come on. He'd never hurt anyone. He badly hurt Christiana. Because Chris pushed my dad until he snapped. I'll come back to work full time. What about Junior? What about him? Well, I mean, the child ages by me, you know? Especially when his dad's not around. They've invited me for a weekend in August, and I'd like to take you with me. To Italy. I lashed out, and I will regret it till the day I die. And then my daughter's gonna pay the price.